Welcome back. Tomorrow evening, local leaders will host a Transportation 101 Forum to discuss the state of Kalamazoo County roads and how they're funded. Now, this event is open to the public. Here to tell us more about the forum is Senator Tanya Shoemaker and State Representative Margaret O'Brien. Thanks so much for being here this morning, ladies. We appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Um, now, obviously, you both hear from constituents on a daily basis about their concerns and their issues with what's happening in your districts. Uh, where do roads kind of rank on those list of issues they have? Well, I definitely think roads are very important. You know, it's what we use to get to work, uh, drive our children to school. Um, and so it's definitely something that uh, needs to be solved because uh, road funding has really remained stable, if not decreased. Uh, according to the rate of inflation in the last 10 or 15 years. So it is a problem looking for a solution. And why was this something, this forum, something you both wanted to take part in and host? Well, you know, as I've done different town hall forums with our area constituents, roads seem to rank number one or number two as far as issues they want to address. But it's extremely complicated how roads are funded. It's different if you live in a township or a city right. and who manages the state roads. So what we want to do is share how are roads funded, what are the condition of the roads, and then listen to feedback on what they think we should do regarding roads. And just recently, in the past couple of years or so, we've had two failed proposals from Governor Snyder about possibly raising the gas tax. Um, I read a statistic earlier that the gas tax here in Michigan has not been raised since the year 1995. Um, some other proposals have been kicked around, possibly increasing the statewide sales tax. Where do both of you stand on that sort of proposal or possible solution, I guess. Well, I think it's important to hear, and that's one of the reasons why we are hosting this forum, is uh, to find out and to get people's input for those different solutions out there. Um, as I go around, uh, certainly I don't think uh, there is much support for a gas tax, and so that's where I think it's important to educate the public mm -hmm. um, in terms of, uh, you know, what, what are the different solutions that they see um, Lansing making. The House Appropriations Chair, Representative Havman, has agreed to come in and talk about the budget because we often hear, well, you can just carve one billion dollars out of the budget. And so what we want to do is share this is what the general fund, general purpose portion of the budget is. And what would that mean if you wish to cut out of the existing budget? What does that mean as far as cutting? And then you can also lay on if you want to do other things, whether it's a sales tax, it's local millages. What are those numbers? What does it mean to everybody's pocketbooks? Now, comparatively speaking, taking a look at what other states spend on their roadways compared to the state of Michigan per person, Michigan spends 100 74. That's compared to Ohio at $235, Wisconsin at $231, and Indiana, which is known for its conservatism, at $187. How do you feel about the fact that Michigan spends so little? Do you think it's um, a show that we are conservative here in the state or a show that more needs to be spent? Well, I definitely think that it is uh, represented that we need to really address this problem and, and the solution and really uh, get behind this. Well, living in Portage, I pay two property millages towards roads. And so when we look at what the state spends, we have a, a different hodgepodge of solutions that locals have done. We have different communities that may have assessments or millages. Mm -hmm. And so while that may be what the state's spending, you know, each household in Portage is paying that and more. Right, absolutely. Well, once again, this uh, this presentation takes place tomorrow evening. It's from 6 p.m. till 7.30. We've got all the information up on your screen right now. We'll also have that posted to our Facebook page as well as our website. Thank you both so much for Thank being you. here this Thank morning.